What is up fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Aries Zodiac sign. We are going to pull a couple of cards just to get some general messages for you to see what comes out. We're going to start off with the spellcasting deck. What is the overall energy and messages that Aries needs to know? What are the overall energy and messages? We have peace. Two more. What are the overall energies and messages? Ooh, psychic abilities. Overall energy and messages. And beauty. Okay. Self-care. And bottom of the deck is prosperity. Beautiful. So we are going to clarify with the Light Sears Tarot, guys. Let me apologize ahead of time. I'm talking a little low because my son uh, is under the weather. So he's like right there. And I don't want to wake him up. <laughs> so, and then I'm also sick. So we're all like passing around colds and stuff in here. So <clears throat> let me apologize ahead of time if I get to coughing. Okay, I apologize. All right, let's clarify the peace card for Aries. What is this message about? The peace card for my Aries. The full. Clarify the peace card for Aries. Some of y'all need to take a leap of faith here, okay? Some of you need to chart into the unknown, the unknown waters here, the Ace of Swords, bottom of the deck, um, and just really make your mind up and say, okay, look, I'm going to move forward here because we have the, the full card and the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you are needing to uh, plant seeds elsewhere is what I'm getting. New beginnings. It's all about new beginnings, a brand new start, a fresh start. I feel like wherever you've been for a while, you've been really stuck in your head about it. Yep, Eight of Swords. You've been really stuck in your head about it. Maybe you're not happy where you are, or maybe it's very chaotic. It could be like a um, a negative work environment or um, a negative relationship, you know, a, a toxic relationship, that type of energy. And I feel like Spirit is just saying, take a leap, okay? Just take a leap into the unknown. Go out there in uncharted waters. Go out there and try something new, okay? Maybe some of you haven't... Um, Maybe you're working on nine to five and that's all you've ever known is a nine to five. Maybe go out there and try something else, you know, if you have the ability or create like a side hustle. And because and, um, they also just said um, multiple streams of income. So some of you <coughs> need to create multiple streams of income that will bring that peace to you that will make you feel more secure, more stable here. Okay, uh, clarify psychic abilities for Aries, please. What's the psychic abilities? We have the Queen of Wands and the Three of Wands. Some of you could actually create a business here or create some type of um, passion or desire with your psychic abilities here. Because we have the Queen of Wands and the Three of Wands. <coughs> I apologize, guys. I'm sorry. And some of you, if you would, if you would dive into this here, checking into your intuition it would actually lead you to that new beginning that you know looking out ahead looking towards the future instead of where you are now some of you are wanting are needing to go after your passions and your desires go after things that make you feel good that make you feel happy yeah ten of cups so that you can get your wish fulfillment some of you may be you know stuck in a, a work environment that you've hated all your life Excuse me, I'm sorry, but you do it because you're used to it, because you're content, because it pays the bills, you know what I'm saying? But some of you need to look out and be open to new opportunities or new horizons, uh, maybe relocation, okay, with the Three of Wands. Traveling, it could be, it could represent traveling as well, because she's standing up on this, this rock up here, you know, this big old hill looking out to the sea, and there's something beyond there here, right? If she stood there all her life, she would never know what's on the other side of the ocean, but if she would get out there and ride the wave, she would see, she could actually see that there's other land pieces, other landmarks, maybe different islands and different locations out there. So some of you are needing to like get out and live, live a little, enjoy life. Some of you are missing out on a lot of things. Let's see. What else do you have? Beauty card for Aries, please. What about the beauty card for Aries? The moon card. Clarify the beauty card for Aries and Page of Pentacles. Some of you really need to work on like, and no offense to this, but need to work on uh, like 
heightening your self-esteem, like really getting out there and being confident in yourself here because you have so much to offer. OK, please don't take offense to that. But I feel like a lot of you maybe cover up and protect what you have or maybe you dress down so you don't, you know, stand out. But or <coughs> sorry. Some of you have this beauty, like a lot of you have this special beauty. All of us are all unique. So we're all beautiful in our own special way. But some of you need to just kind of dig deep and just bring that out because it's going to open you up to new possibilities and new opportunities here. We have the moon card and the page of pentacles. And be confident. Some of you just need to build up your confidence a little bit. I feel like you're holding back because maybe you're holding back because you don't feel like you're enough or you don't feel like you're up to par. They just said, um, I need to lose weight. So some of you may be feeling like you need to lose weight, but guess what? You're beautiful just the way you are. Okay, you can still lose weight if you want to. That's perfectly fine. But you got to remember to be happy with who you are now, you know, with what you have now, the way you look now, the way you dress because, I mean, you could be, there's big, you know, bigger, oversized weight people that look good, look damn good the way they dress, the way they carry themselves. And I mean that. I have a whole bunch of friends and they look damn good that way. And you should just really appreciate the the health and the life and the, the unique beauty that you carry for yourself. If you want to invest in some new clothes, do that. Page of Pentacles. But some of you, it, this right here would open up so many opportunities. And then Knight of, Knight of Cups energy is on the bottom of the deck. There's going to be someone coming in wanting to offer you love. Someone finds you attractive. Someone finds you as beautiful and as elegant. You just have to believe it in yourself, believe it in your spirit that you are. I don't know why I'm getting that message, but that's what they're giving me. I'm sorry, guys. That's just, I got to give what they give me. Okay. All right. What other messages do you have for my beautiful Aries? What other message do you have for Aries, please? All right. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is Owl. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. We also have Dragonfly. Have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. Have confidence. Exactly what I was saying. And then Goals. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. For a lot of you, yes, most definitely, there are different goals that you're setting out. Again, some of you are trying to create multiple streams of income or you're trying to create um, new job opportunities or new beginnings for yourself here. And you will reach all of those goals. You have the passion and the drive to do so. All you have to do is listen to your intuition, continue to look ahead and, and look out there for new opportunities and possibilities because you can bring whatever you can manifest whatever it is that you want in this lifetime. OK, just remember that. So this is your reading. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. I appreciate you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.